Jimmy. You saw you missed something so funny. Hey. Max kicked the ball at him and he reared. <laughs> well, I'd rear too. Oh, there goes yeah. quick. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? I hope. I hope. It's like these freaking people. Oh, I got my step back. He's like, oh, quick. See if he starts calling quick. Oh, he did that earlier. He's a loud <laughs> now he's going into his house. <laughs> it was at this moment that she realized she hated the Ford engineers. Let me see how dirty looks I'm getting. I'm telling you it was daggers. You need a shorter extension, Bubba? Ooh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm, that hurts. So are you gonna get it washed so we can show the, the folks at home? Are you going to get it washed so we can show the folks at home how you do turd polishing? We're going to show them how to polish a turd. So get it washed off and we'll polish the turd. Yeah, I don't have brakes, see? Yeah, I know. Look, I don't have brakes. I know, you need to put a brake line on it. That's all we look for. That's good, don't it? Alright, so here we are. It is about 8 o'clock. Sunday night, and uh, and my weekend has consisted of hockey game. I uh, had to do some stuff this morning. We got Jesse's truck running because there was an issue with the starter. We fixed it, and then the starter gave us issues again. So it sat for a little while, and then we got to order a new starter for it. Put it in, and it wouldn't start. Well, here. The, the um, serpentine belt tensioner completely locked up and it was actually holding the engine from starting. So we got that figured out. We have a tensioner ordered. I have the clutch ordered for the green SV, or I have the clutch ordered for the green ZX3 Focus. So I'll have my ricer car back, my beater. Um, then I can start working towards the yellow SVT, um, this is going to be an announcement on that car in the 100th episode, which is not this one, but the next one. Y'all are going to have to stay tuned for that one. In the meantime, I worked on Jessie's truck because we're trying to get hers done so she can get her license. Um, I'm down to slim pickings on Jeremy's truck. It's almost done. I have to fix, let's see, I have to fix one door. So this one door has some rust on it and then all the bed panels and everything are done. This has very minimal rust, but he bought a new tailgate. So I have both sides done there. The doors on this side are perfect. This fender's replaced. So his truck's coming down to slim pickings just off camera. Um, turbo we are going to flip the bed on it which you got you guys know which one turbo is turbo is the big white big white dually we have we call it turbo this one here can you see all that rust well not really but <laughs> yeah that rust is really bad we're gonna get new bed rails for it it's gonna take me a little time that's about four hundred dollars um at the moment, finances are a little tight, especially when I had to order the part for my beater car. I have to get it back on the road. 
because winter's coming mustang ain't going in the snow period but next time you see jessica's truck i'm going to teach you all how to polish a turd because um we want to make it drivable but it's her first truck you never know what's going to happen um so we're going to fix all the body work in a budgeted manner it's not going to be crappily fixed it's going to be repaired properly but on a budget so when we look at stuff like this we can replace the metal here and i'll do a cut line here right up under this body line and i can paint that part without having to paint that whole door and the same with like back here i can cut it back here do all the work below and then that way save all the paint work there because this truck's not going to be perfect it's not planned to be perfect but i'll show you guys ways to make it look a little better not like that so that's coming up in a future episode um the green focus will be getting repaired the clutch should be in next friday so that may be next weekend's project and then once i get jeremy's truck the green focus and jesse's truck going we're going to work on the subaru that i bought beginning of the year we're going to work on it get it running and back on the road because the Mountaineer needs a lot of work and it's got a lot of rust issues underneath it. So I'm really torn on what I'm going to do with it. I'd like to get the Subaru going just so we can drive it while I decide what I'm going to do with the Mountaineer. And then, and then the SVT will, well, you just have to wait and see. For tonight, guys, I'm exhausted. I got a long week of work ahead of me. So, like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying what you see. And as always, we'll see you on the flip side. Jimmy! <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? You saw, you missed something so funny. Hi. Max kicked the ball at him and he reared. <laughs> well, I reared too. Oh, there goes quick. <laughs> <laughs>